Okay, in today's episode, um, what we've got is a pure uh, DAB digital radio. It's, uh, yeah, essentially the screen's gone on it. The rest of the radio did work. Um, I've also lost a DC uh, um, mains cable, but hey, that's not really a problem for me. I'm um, just going to start by removing the battery. As you can see, it's not a standard battery. Um, this is another one of the uh, MacBook battery creations essentially just rewiring it to the um the BMS but yeah that's that's got a lot more power in it than the original one I will double check the uh sort of total capacity on both of them Okay, yeah, uh, as you can sort of see in here, the radio's giving sound. Um, obviously, I need to sort out the antenna, but it's giving sound, but not really getting any display. So it's all well and good. The radio works. Unfortunately, we've kind of we kind of can't tell which channel we're on until well, the lovely radio presenter tells us which channel it is. So yeah, we'll have a look at that. So we're just going to start by removing uh, all the screws. They're all cross heads, and there's five of them in to uh, six of them in total. Sorry, on the back. Um, so once we've removed them, this should separate. Sorry, I said six. So seven. Obviously, I forgot the one on the antenna. Yeah. Once the screws are out, the back should just pop straight off. Um, obviously, you've got to be careful because there are some cables that are still attached. Um, these two I've obviously removed um, to be able to get it out, but there is um, a cable that's sort of like hardwired to the board. Or actually, no, I think that's just no, it's just running under under some goop. So, but I don't need the uh, don't need the back completely off anyway. I just need to be able to see inside it. So we're gonna remove all the internal screws. Once they're removed, that board should just come out or the front will come off but we'll see I am also going to just disconnect the um, LCD connector and give it a bit of a clean up and pop that back in it's only a ribbon cable but I've had a look online and the screens for these are about between 10 and 20 quid so I'm probably not going to replace it considering I could buy a second hand one for 15 um, it doesn't seem logical, so I'm just going to use this as the uh, sort of outside radio, whatever channel I can manage to get it on. I'll I'll pick one of my favourites and uh, or try and find one of my favourites and just stick with it. But yeah, um, unfortunately, it's it's not worth putting a screen to. If I find one, I'll do it. But um, yeah, I'm not going to put that sort of money to it. It's not really worth it. But yeah, that's enough for today. Um, if you like the video, then 
please subscribe for more. Have a great day, thank you very much.